Hello my friends, subscribers, and everyone watching this video. Um, I've had a long absence. Um, I, I think it's important to take a sabbatical from uh, any type of work you're doing. And um, I'm now ready to start making videos. And studying the, the numbers involved and especially in my video about Celine, which is not a professional literary review, but it, it seemed to strike a chord um, with a lot of people, and I think it had about 800 views. So I'm going to continue uh, on this line of culture uh, videos. Um, I'm very much interested in studying um, philosophy, history, uh, literature, uh, with my hobbies being photography and filmmaking. Uh, I am retired, so I have a lot of time to to uh, do these things. And um, although I do have a advanced degree, I don't place much um, emphasis on that. I have a master's degree in economics and philosophy, but that's beside the point. Um, what I wanted to talk about is a book I ordered from Amazon uh, for seven dollars. It's a um, very good book. Uh, a $30 value, and it's uh, an academic book. It was written, uh, published by uh, Princeton Paperbacks, written by a professor, David Carroll, um, and it's entitled French Literary Fascism Nationalism, Anti Semitism, and the Ideology of Culture. Uh, although this individual is definitely not on our side, uh, the information in this book is incredible. Uh, he has a real good grasp of the uh, the French culture and back to the 19th century. And if we look at these writers and cultural people, um, now I'm going to probably get most of these names pronounced wrong because I'm my background is, is Scottish, so. I'll try the best I can, and he, he puts down here as the fathers of French literary fascism, Maurice Beret, uh, writing about ideology, Charles Pagai uh, on aesthetic uh, anti-modernism and spiritualization of history, Charles Marat um, about organicism, and also the literary uh, fascists, Robert Brasillac, Dre La Rochelle, uh, of course, Drumeau, and Celine, Louis Ferdinand Celine. Lucien Rebete, who I really liked a lot. Um, it is, this chattel, cha uh, chapter is called The Art of Anti Semitic Rage Lucien Rebete's Aesthetics of Violence. Fascinating individual he was. Um, on aesthetic sensibility and anti-Semitism and the aesthetic final solution. Uh, and of course, following up with Thierry Maunier and Paul de Man. Um, I read the book a couple of times. I was so impressed. And, and I think everyone should get it. Um, it's just a masterful study of, of our movement from a cultural point of view. And um, even during the um, so-called occupation in, in France, um, there was quite a spirited debate amongst the French literary fascists as to um, how to um, how to look at this phenomenon. Um, well, I hope everyone will read the book, uh, French Literary Fascism. You can get it, I think, a used copy even further down to like three or four dollars. So. Um, I was fascinated by the um, the scholarly um, capabilities of our people. Um, we have cultural people at the top of Western civilization, and I think out of this whole book, I think uh, Ferdinand Celine is certainly uh, a literary genius of the highest order. Well, anyway, folks. Um, Welcome back, and uh, I will um, be making other videos. And also on a literary note, this day in history, um, 
1941, novelist and critic Virginia Woolf drowned herself in Lou, England, and um, R.I.P. to her. Great literary modern, along with T.S. Eliot, Ezra Pound, um, James Joyce. These these were people that were uh, the finest selection of European writers um, I, I think ever produced. 